Welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to make Amish cinnamon bread. This recipe makes two loaves. So the first thing I'm going to do is add one cup of melted butter. And then I'm going to add two cups of sugar. And you want to cream that together. You can use a hand mixer or a stand mixer if you like. Okay, you want it to be light and fluffy. I did end up using a hand mixer. Then you're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract and two eggs. And again, you're going to mix those all in. Once you have that mixed together, we're going to set that aside. I have four cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking soda. One teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'm just going to give that a stir. And then I'm going to take my wet ingredients and I have two cups of buttermilk. I'm going to add about a third of the buttermilk and about a third of my flour mixture. And I'm just going to mix that. And then I'm going to add another third of buttermilk and another third of my flour mixture. Mix that and then I'll add the rest. Once you have that all mixed together, set that aside. And I'm gonna take a third of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a dash of nutmeg. And just stir that together. greased two pans. You want to grease them well. And we're going to put a quarter of this batter in each bread tin. And you just want to smooth that out. And then take your sugar and cinnamon and just sprinkle that in the middle. And you want to use about half of that mixture. And then take a knife and just make some swirls in it. And then we're going to add another quarter of the batter to each pan. smooth that out the best you can and then we're going to use the rest of the cinnamon and sugar just sprinkle that on you don't have to worry about it too even because we're going to take a knife and swirl it around anyways you may not need to use all of the sugar and cinnamon you just want a nice light coating. And take your knife. 
and just swirl it around. And then I'm going to put these in a preheated 350 degree oven for 50 to 60 minutes until the top starts to brown and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. I'll be back and show you what they look like. Okay, so it's been a little over 50 minutes and our bread is done. I am just going to let this cool for 15 minutes to a half an hour and then I'll take them out and put them on a cooling rack. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and I've taken them out of the pan. I am going to freeze one, but I'm going to let that one completely cool before I wrap it to go in the freezer. Um, and the other one we'll have for breakfast tomorrow. This is super easy to make. I hope you give them a try. Please like, share, and subscribe. That would help me out a great deal. And I will see you on the next one.